Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, reports come out that your boy Young Thug has a whole new indictment pinned against him. All right, um, the story's kind of crazy to be honest with you. Um, it seems like you can't win for losing, as we all know. The next court hearing and all that isn't until next year of 2023. But these are new reports that came out. Now it says the Fulton, uh, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office says a new indictment brings new charges against famous hip hop artist Young Thug. The District Attorney's Office believes these charges add to the prosecution's claim that Williams, aka Young Thug, performed for years as a leader of a criminal street gang. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis office said the new indictment includes all 28 defendants from the may indictment and still focuses on ysl an organization allegedly founded by williams and two others the district attorney's office said the new charges are against williams and four other defendants and arose from arrest on march 17th and may 9th of 2022 many many of these new charges against williams and two of the other defendants stem from what the da's office and atlanta police found in williams home on allison drive in buckhead the night of his arrest in may williams now faces a new uh, gang charge new drug charge possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony and possession of a machine gun now here's my thing so they're pretty much saying that they charged him twice for one indictment if you pay attention which is kind of weird. I don't know how that go. I don't know how the laws are in Atlanta and whatever the case may be, if they can do that. But it's kind of weird to me because what they're pretty much saying is everything that they found in his house after they raided his house when they were arrested him, they're charging that to him as a new indictment. You know, now somebody jump in the comments and let me know if I'm wrong and maybe they could do that. But where I'm at, I never heard of that before. This is something new to me. They're creating a new indictment of evidence that they already found uh, found from an ongoing indictment. I never heard of that. All of that should be included in the regular indictment if that's what you're going to use to charge him. But maybe that's that should be not maybe that should be used as evidence in that indictment. How can evidence from a previous indictment be used to create a whole new indictment? I never heard of that. It should just be used as infor uh, information or evidence, you know, in the in, in the previous indictment. So I don't know if maybe his lawyer um, could fight that. Maybe they're just trying to tack on new indictments and new cases just to make them seem like this crazy loose cannon so he could do some type of time out the ordeal because that's what they do too. They just tack on charges and say hey if you could beat it you could beat it but we just gonna keep going and trying that's this that's what it seems here because to be honest with you it doesn't make sense once again the new indictment includes everyone from the last indictment and it's kind of pretty much the same charges and not to mention they're using the new evidence found from his house in this new indictment when they should be using it against him in the other indictment so I don't know. Like I said, I could be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comments below. That's why I like having these discussions. You know, it kind of opens up the air for people in different areas to tell you their laws and restrictions and X, Y, and Z. So, you know, maybe we could bring awareness and educate each other. All right. So y'all jump in the comments and let me know how you feel. Let me know also um, how the laws are in your county, if they could do that or, you know, whatever. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.